Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to Ghost in Depth. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about target prioritization, which is kind of a fancy way to say knowing who to shoot and when to shoot them. It's most important when there are multiple things to shoot, but I'm also going to be giving some general tips on how to raise your kill-death ratio because that's one of the more common things I get. I get it on Twitter and I get it in some of the comments, so I'll take that as your suggestion. It's like, hey Drifter, I want to raise my kill-death ratio. I was great at Black Ops, I stink at Ghost, or I was great at this game, I'm having problems. Can you please just tell me how to raise my KD? And it's not a simpler one-step process that works for everybody, but these tips are general enough to where they should be useful to almost everyone. Number one is that you should shoot dogs first. Anytime you see a guy near a dog, shoot the dog first, because the dog has kind of got like this sort of crazy death range, and as soon as you break that barrier, the dog is going to sense you and come close to you, and then you just about can't cancel him. However, if you get the jump on the dog and shoot the dog first, it doesn't take very many bullets to kill him, and most of the times you can kill the dog before the owner notices. There are a few instances where the owner will notice you before the dog of course shoot them first but generally speaking it is best to shoot the dogs first next up you need to shoot whoever is looking at you and then mop up the other enemies this is something that I personally have problems with because oftentimes the enemy that's looking at me is far away and the guy that's not paying attention is fairly close and I say to myself I can shoot this guy that's fairly close and not looking at me and then I'll engage in the gunfight but in doing so I always lose the gunfight before I can even uh, kill the other individual because of the flinch so no matter how far away the enemy is that's looking at you always prioritize them and then kill the others that aren't paying attention to you but I'll add a sub rule to 2 I'll call it 2A if two people are looking you at looking at you at the same time, it is always best to shoot the more aggressive player. If you can identify somebody with a deadlier weapon like a shotgun, he's in your face, somebody spraying with a submachine gun, or for whatever reason you feel that one player is stronger, better, more accurate, and more dangerous than the other, prioritize that one first. That was actually a J-Hub tip. He recommended that I change that one in my rules. The next one is that you need to shoot enemies that are moving in your direction first. Enemies moving side to side, moving out of the way, behind cover. Do not shoot them as you instead of the ones coming at you. The ones that are coming at you are already locked onto you, they want you dead, they want to kill you, and they're closing proximity for all sorts of nasty things. Focus on them first, even though they may be further away, even though the ones darting to the sides may look like easy kills, ultimately they're going to distract you and the guy that's running at you will kill you, so shoot anybody that's moving at you first. Next up, you need to shoot snipers last. Now, um, this is highly debatable, but in my general experience, I find that if I move fast enough, they are more likely to miss the quick scope than they are to hit it, and I can kill whoever else is shooting at me and then move on to the sniper. That is not every time, and I've had some people tell me that they should shoot snipers first, but generally speaking, uh, as long as I have on lightweight and as long as I'm moving fast enough, I just ignore them. Number five has a little bit more to do with map and situational awareness. You should plan to, or have a plan to shoot around every corner. And by every corner, I mean every single corner. You gotta sweep corners, you gotta move like you're on TV. You just have to expect there to be somebody around that corner. The only times I die are when I think the area is clear. And I probably do this about 10 times a game, so do as I say do and not do as I do. But as long as you check your corners, it's not very often that people are gonna sneak up on you. This is a big, 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 big one. Sometimes they just move through blind spots sometimes bad things happen but having a plan sweeping the corners looking at them is very very useful which leads right into rule number six which is pre-firing or pre-ADS pre ADSing is always a good idea if you're doing game battles or competitive play of course pre-fire is going to be the way to do you've seen them hip fire and that sort of stuff in public matches it may not be as useful to give your position away so what I have a tendency to do is pre ADS around corners as I move around the corner I aim down sights to sweep it and it's a very good idea for me because then I'm just able to pop whoever's on the other side. If I were playing game battles or something, I'd probably run and jump around corners spraying already because the uh, that scene's a little bit more predictable and I know that there's people more likely to be there, whereas online matches are very, very random feeling. Lastly, and this is something that I've done in a couple of different in-depth episodes in a couple of different ways, and this is usually the answer that I give to people simply looking to raise their kill-death ratio. It's a lot of tips in one. It's you use a silencer, you flank, and you shoot them in the back when possible. You use a silencer so you stay off the radar. If you're not using a silencer every single time you shoot you're on the radar and everybody in the area is going to be gunning for you that's why I run a lot of silencers of course I don't run them in competitive different scene but when I'm playing public matches yes I flank as much as possible though I am going for YouTube kind of gameplay a lot of times and people want to see me win gunfight after gunfight after gunfight so I've got that commentator monkey on my shoulder saying challenge him 
I know you're at a disadvantage. You should challenge them. But you guys don't have that problem. You don't have to do this. So it's very easy and rewarding for you to just walk around behind the enemies, ignore a few. You'll have to ignore a few, but then you can shoot all the rest of them in the back. Why in the world would you go risk a 50-50 quick draw, you know, tooth and nails, close combat, skilled gunfight sort of scenario when you could just shoot them in the back of the head before he even knows that you're there. It doesn't make any sense. Of course you want to shoot them in the back of the head. So this is, uh, I'm just telling you to be stealthy and don't go charging in because there's a 50-50 chance you'll win the gunfight, but there's a 100% chance you'll win when you shoot them in the back. Those are my tips for target prioritization. These are the things that I don't necessarily always do, but the things that I do try to do, and they do help me out. Let me know if they help you. This is the end of this in-depth episode. The previous one was about the paper containers on freight and octane. The next one's going to be on whatever you want it to be, so don't forget to leave me a suggestion. And as always, if you enjoyed the content, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Crypto out.